That's why I talk about some of the subjects I talk about. While everybody else is concentrating in certain areas, the world is about to face a spiritual nightmare. People will be caught off guard because they're taking the popular in the known way. People want to hear something they're familiar with when they should be getting spiritually prepared to withstand everything. Because a confrontation on a spiritual level people are going to have, and it is not what they think. I know people think they're ready for the bail to be thinned out however they describe it. We have been protected by way of that bail. Do you guys know that? We, that's our protection. Did you guys know the bail is our protection? And when it's pierced, there is no protection. Things have been held back from getting to us for a long time. But that time will not always be. And each of us must stand in truth in Christ. The time for giving ourselves excuses is going to fail us. And people will witness the horrific screams of people in a living torment. Because they're making their choice now. And I'll tell you something. Those who go to torment will be separated from the living God. Their torment is going to begin in life in this world. Do you know that? Their torment will begin here. And it will continue throughout eternity into another place. And that torment is coming. Evil is going to come to everybody who gave it a home. Darkness will come for everybody who gave it a home. Now is the time to kick darkness and evil out of your lives and just simply say no to it. That's a choice, a choice many do not want to make. But when evil does come, it will come for darkness. Darkness will attract darkness, period. And anybody who is complicit with that darkness, just note it's coming. For all those who gave it a home within themselves. It can get near the light. You know that. Right? When the Lord comes back. He's going to destroy everything with darkness in it. Those who chose darkness throughout their lives. There's not going to be enough of them left. To even save. Those of us. Who do not choose darkness. But find to get away from it. When the Lord comes, all that darkness we had in us will be destroyed. But since the wholeness of us is going to be light, we're going to be freed. We're going to be free, absolutely free in that moment. But those who have become darkness, that's a big woe unto them. And every day we're making choices. Every single day. You're allowing portions of darkness and light to enter into you. You're becoming what you choose. And no one can trick their way into the kingdom of heaven. What we are becoming is highly visible to everyone who dwells in the kingdom of God. And everyone who is in the heavens. It's not meant for everybody here on this earth to see it. Some are becoming absolute darkness, unsalvageable. And some are doing the impossible and rejecting all darkness, all of what they can find. Because what they have no power to do because they chose the light in the first place. God will do away with everything they fought with and they'll be absolutely free. Their freedom is coming. Their healing is coming. Their restoration is coming. Their redemption is coming. And that's why in the New Testament it says, when you see armies encamped about Jerusalem, then look up and lift up your hands, for your redemption draweth nigh. 
those of you who actually chose the light and you choose the light and you're, you're fighting the good fight of faith, the Lord will free you of what you could not free yourself of. Healing is in his wings. His deliverance is with him. And he's coming. But those who chose to give darkness a home, there is no place they can hide. And no one on earth has ever gotten away with anything. Because even those who die will rise. And they will still pay the penalty. That's the time that's approaching. The disasters come as a part of the breaking. All these things we think are wholesome, they're going to crumble within our hands. They're not going to stand up to what's coming. Everything must be shaken so only that which cannot be shaken will stand. And these times are going to shake everything. Any falsehood, any falsehood we ever had is going to crumble. A storm is coming. It's going to burn up all the trash we ever had in our foundations. Only truth will be left. That's why no one will utter a lying word before him. Because all falsehoods are about to be incinerated. And in that day, people will know where they stand. But that day, will soon become the very day people live in. Those days are coming quicker than what people have calculated. And they will catch the majority of people off guard. I'll be back in a few minutes right here at the Council of Time, everybody. <laughs> 